Alright guys, it's Monday of week 8, and uh, there goes my van, because now I'm within a 2019 Subaru Outback. Check this thing out, it's beautiful. Got my mom's hiding in the back right there. <laughs> it's Caitlin. It's gonna be a fun evening. Well, today's Tuesday, and instead of herping, I'm driving all the way back up to the Subaru dealership to finish up some paperwork, and then I have to work. So, I might go do a little wood frogging after I get off work, we'll see. But definitely enjoying the new ride. Making its herp voyage this morning. It's my first real herping trip in it. I'm gonna go and uh, meet Richard. I'm gonna pick Richard up and we're gonna be taking my car for once. We are going down to check out a new spot. Um, it's gonna be supposed to be in the mid to high 70s today. So there's a lot of good potential for it to turn out to be a, you know, solid day. But we're going somewhere new, so who knows. But I will check back once we are probably to where we're going. It is a foggy and cool morning here up by the house. It's about 55 degrees. It's not cold. It's definitely not cold, but hopefully where we're going is a little bit warmer. All right, guys, listen to that. Sounds of spring. We are out here. This is the new spot. We're gonna check it out. All right, we got our first herps of the day. A couple of anoles, and there is a green tree frog right there. Pretty cool. And keep looking. Another one. All right, two more tree frogs. Where's the third one? Oh, nice. Lots of tree frogs. All right, first snake of the day. A brown snake right here in C2 under this log. We didn't get skunked at our new spot. All right, here's a quick look at this brown snake. Hopefully we'll see plenty more snakes today, but decent way to start. Richard just flipped our next snake today. A little ring neck in C2 here. I'm gonna grab him and we're gonna flip this next piece down. Nothing. <laughs> our next find of the day, a little Eastern Newt Eft. You see him yet? No. Is he on the ground or is he? Look at this little guy. He's adorable. Yeah, I want to see a This place is beautiful. Richard just photographed that newt. I found a giant, like, truck bed type. It's like a really old piece of tin from an old truck that I drug over there, too. So hopefully that'll be in the future. That's kind of interesting. Richard just flipped an arrow mouth. Pretty cool. I'm going to put him back under his rock and keep herping. The spot is ridiculous. It just looks so nice. There's so much, like, random cover out here. Sandy soil. There's gotta be some cool snakes here. We just gotta find them. Look at this habitat, it's incredible. Still haven't seen anything besides those two little snakes yet though. And keep looking. Let's just flip this massive adult female broadhead skink. That's pretty cool. We're gonna take some quick pictures of her and put her back under a rock. Look at the size of this thing. Oh, don't bite me, please don't bite me, please don't bite me. Right down this way from this broadhead skink, Richard just flipped a ribbon snake. Our first decent snake of the day. Check that out. Pretty cool in C2. We're gonna take some pictures of both these guys and let them go. This guy's grumpy. Finding stuff, we got another ribbon snake and a southeastern crown snake. This spot is crazy. Ow, this thing's biting the shit out of me. <laughs> don't go don't go near his mouth, crown snake. Bad idea. Alright guys, we got a lot of stuff right here in this little spot, so I'm gonna do a quick little video of each thing. This is the bigger ribbon snake. You saw the littler one pretty good, but maybe not this guy. But he's posing super well. I'm gonna take a couple pictures and let this guy go. All right, guys, here's a look at this broadhead skink. Usually when these guys aren't huge, like this thing's pretty, this thing's great playing skink size. But when they're not this big, you have to count the scales on their lips to tell if it's broadhead or a uh, five line. But no doubt about this one, because it's so big, we're gonna let this girl go. Let's just a quick look at these two ribbon snakes together before we let them go. Not a species I see a whole lot outside of a couple of select spots, so it's cool to see them in a new area. Here's a look at the two crown snakes. I flipped another one right after uh, I cut filming, but these things are always really cool to see. Uh, definitely cool to see in a new spot, but I have a soft spot for Tantilla, and these ones here in my home state are no exception. Really awesome little snakes. We're gonna take a couple quick pictures of these guys and let them go too. Southeast. 
Eastern crown snakes. All right, we flipped a rat snake. He kind of looks like he's dead. We found this piece of tin. We're gonna look. Yeah. He sure feels like he's dead. He didn't move. Let's see if we can get another piece of tin up. He's dead. Why don't I kill any freeze, you think? No way, it's not, it hasn't froze. All right guys, well flipping that dead rat snake was really weird. <laughs> uh, he was really freshly dead. Didn't look like anything was wrong with him really. He was just dead. Super strange. Man, I cannot believe we haven't seen more snakes yet. Hopefully they're coming. I just gotta find the right spot. Look at that. Oh my god, this habitat's beautiful. These brush piles on the edge of the swamp. Where's the king snakes at? Come on. Perfect habitat. All right, Richard just spotted the next snake of the day, a ribbon snake out in the open right there. It's our first basking snake of the day. We're just gonna leave that guy right there and keep her and see if we can find some bigger stuff. Next snake, another ribbon snake. These things are everywhere here, I guess. Grumpy. This place is beautiful. Still nothing really cool snake wise though. A lot of common stuff. Hopefully it's coming. This is a kind of unexpected find. A little three line salamander. Pretty cool. Found this guy under a little concrete slab here. I'm going to put him back. There he goes. All right, guys, there's our first big snake of the day. There's a black racer right there. I'm gonna maybe try to grab him real quick. All right, racer number two for the day right here in C2. Let's see if I can get a couple pictures of this guy. I'll leave him right there. Good looking in C2 though. All right, guys, I just I just spotted our first Eastern King snake of the day. Richard's gonna film while I go grab All right, guys, so this was a really weird encounter. This king snake was, it doesn't look like it from the picture, but he's actually down a concrete hole. You'll see in the next video. It's, it's basically where I guess they filled concrete in and over the years nature just grew up around it so there's these deep fissures in the concrete and uh if you've ever tried to pull a snake out of a hole it's almost impossible to do without hurting the snake um so you usually have to dig them out and that wasn't an option here so I just we had to let this guy go it wasn't a huge deal but it was a new county for me and uh my sixth king snake of 2019 so far so it's pretty cool. I'm a little bit bummed out we didn't get to see the whole thing, but yeah. Pretty cool to find one on the first trip to a new spot, and I will definitely be back. Here's a little more footage of him. Alright guys, well this thing is not going to get out of this hole. We're just going to have to let him go. But I figured I'd get a little bit of footage. It still counts. King Snake, awesome, but we're not going to get a good look at him, unfortunately. So we're just going to let him go here in a minute. I have to take a couple quick photos. Well, there's the King Snake just sitting there trying to figure out what he's done to get himself into this situation. And Richard says there's a snake in that tree right there. There's a rat snake coiled up right there. <laughs> we were too preoccupied with the king snake. All right, guys, here's another look at this rat snake. Pretty different from a lot of the ones we see. He's big, too. Check out the size of this thing. He's probably, probably around five foot long. We're going to take the picture of this guy and let him go. Well, we just basically road cruise a ribbon snake. <laughs> walking on this path. Pretty cool, just hanging out. I'll take a couple quick pictures of this guy and get him out of the road. All right guys, well for a new spot, I'd say today went pretty well. It's getting kind of late. We're gonna hit another couple of spots that are pretty close by, see if we can turn some other stuff up. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again. All right, it's the last day of week eight. I think that's what we want now. And uh, I'm gonna go try to find a couple more snakes to end the week. All right, guys, met up with Richard and Cameron. We're out here doing some hiking. And we'll check back if we get into some good stuff. It's about 60 degrees and sunny. So hopefully we'll see some stuff. Oh, mice. That's a good sign. Alright. What on earth? Oh, this 
big. It's so warm underneath it too. There it is, we broke the ice. A brown snake. We're gonna take a couple quick pictures of this little guy and let him go and see if we can find something bigger. Another brown snake, right next to this one. We're killing it. A third one, all right. Richard, flip these two on camera for me. Okay. I'm gonna get a triple in hand. They're super warm, nice. Any more, any more? This might be too wet. Yeah. All right, can we go for four brown snakes? <laughs> Guess not. All right guys, just three brown snakes right here. We didn't see a fourth, but. Pretty decent for a couple of crappy little pieces of tin. We're gonna take some pictures of these guys and let them go and see if we can find some bigger stuff. All right guys, just found this little red-bellied snake under a piece of tin. Pretty cool. Definitely a, a little bit of a step up from their relatives to brown snakes. They're definitely prettier. This one's nice too. Nice and big, colorful. We're gonna take a couple quick pics of this guy and let him go. Well guys, it's been pretty slow so far. I haven't seen quite as much as I was hoping at it with a little bit more tin and hopefully turn up a king snake or something a little more interesting than Storaria. <laughs> all right guys Alex just flipped three red salamanders under one log and then flipped this dusky under another killing it ah! <laughs> all right we're right here past the red salamanders and there's a northern water snake hanging out right there pretty cool a lot of stuff down here all right, here's one more look at one of these red salamanders before we let him go. I think Richard just found something up ahead, so I'm gonna go check it out. All right, Cameron just found this little guy. This is the tiniest worm snake of all time. He's next to the end of a snake hook, like finger for reference. Really tiny. Pretty cool, I was hoping we'd see one of these today. This place would be nice. It's super cluttered though. Ah! All right guys, Cameron just went in the AP. <laughs> There is a timber rattlesnake right there. <laughs> hey, you want to get a picture behind it? I'll get a picture of you with it. There was a bunch of different hurt pages. I didn't see them. They got like 14,000 views. What was it of? Uh, timber I found in like... Alright, so there's the first timber. <laughs> Alex <laughs> looks over. <laughs> Another one. That one's way bigger and nicer. Holy crap. Dude, the, the one insane, dude. the one that I found was genuinely twice that girth. Like That's it was ridiculous. the biggest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. It blew my mind. That's awesome. Uh, He's rattling. Very nice. That thing is so nice. And then there's this. This is just ridiculous. Like this is an area I herb all the time and never see. Like I've seen, I see maybe one or two timbers here a year, and it's February, and there's two of them right here. Freaking awesome. All right, here's another look at this nicer timber. This thing is gorgeous. Really nice looking snake. The other one's not bad looking, but he's he's a little skinnier and darker and muddier. But this thing's gorgeous. Snakes. All right, here's one more look at both snakes. I'm gonna get, this is pretty much in the sea dude. He twitched a little bit, but there's a nicer one. And then just on the other side of this jumble of stuff right here. Did you check all this good, Richard? Did you check all this stuff good? I mean, what are the odds of there being three right here, right? <laughs> <laughs> and there's the other one. It feels like such bad herping weather today. Yeah. It just feels like so, it's so windy. It's like West Texas windy in Georgia. Well, he was on the ground. Another little brown snake. Number four for the day. Let's take pictures of this guy. Put him back. Into the tin. Let's see this boy. There's the mountain core frog. Brown snake number five. I was just gonna get a little NC2 video first. There's a plain bellied water snake right there. Yeah, you can you can grab me if you want to. I don't want to get shit on. Is this where you'd see him? This, yeah, the same area? Is this the same guy? Oh man, that's a hog move. <laughs> 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 
They're really good fake hog noses. They look like hog noses from a distance. Dude, I haven't seen a plane buddy in a while. Very good. He grump. Hey, what's up, buddy? They love this like this micro habitat is like where I see like almost all the plane bellies. So pretty. They're it's really nice. Man down. I just saved my camera. Dude, that's the second time I've fallen. Dude, there. I saw you take it on the arm. That looked painful. Well, I took it on the arm so it wouldn't damage my camera. Yeah. There it is, the root. It's so windy that there's waves on the lake. It's crazy. What a terrible day to snake hunt. It's just not that warm and it's windy. Alright, Cameron just spotted this nice looking rat snake in see through right. He's so well camouflaged right there too. You can hardly even see him until you realize you're looking at one. The darkest yellow I've ever seen. <laughs> Good looking snake. Alright guys, this wind's getting kind of ridiculous. It's even kind of late. I have to work today. So, I'm going to head back to the car. It was a fantastic day. Good to get out with these guys. See a couple of awesome snakes. A lot of snakes. What did you say our final count was? 11? 11 snakes? Double digits for Metro Atlanta in February is good. Really good. So this will probably be the end of week eight. And I'm going herping tomorrow, the first day of week nine. So I will see you guys at the end of next week.